So this is our cabin tour of room A223 on MV Aurora. Well, good morning, afternoon. Afternoon, yes. Hello, dear. Hello. Oh, let's come in and have a look around this bulk cabin because we don't very often have a balcony cabin on Aurora, do we, Lindsay? Uh, no, I don't think we've ever had a balcony. Once. Did we? Yeah, uh -huh. in the winter one time. So, so, let's begin. As we come into the cabin on the left-hand side, we've got the usual aircon control. And then we've got this lovely sort of area here, which is used for putting um, your glasses on there. Look, we've got a nice selection of glasses at the moment because we were lucky enough to have some champagne. Got your tea and coffee, and yeah. there's even biscuits in there at the yes, moment, Lindsay. Know. Yeah, they haven't been there very long. Oh, all right. And as we come down, what have we got next, Lindsay? Next is the safe. Standard safe, not very big, I must admit. It's big enough for us. Yeah, but it may not be big enough if you want to put a laptop in there. No, and then we've got a series of drawers down here. They're all quite. They're not very deep, but they. No. But, um, that way, but they're quite a lot useful. Of them. There's plenty of them too. Yeah, plenty of them. And then we come round to this side, which is where we've got the wardrobe. So you're struggling with wardrobes, aren't you? Really? I'm struggling with this a bit. There's plenty of room between the bed and the wardrobe to get in between. Yeah, there is. We've had that problem on other ships. Loads and loads and loads of hangers. There's loads of hangers. Hangers, <coughs> hangers. Look, we've got more hangers than you can shake a stick at. And you've got half height and a half height. Which is great for you. Yes. It means you can store all your stuff. Um, there's lots of space in here. Yeah. Uh, which is long hanging. Yeah. Um, but yes, it does go right the way back in there, which can be a bit awkward. It's, it's fine on this cruise. Yes. Because we're on a short cruise and we haven't got it filled up with clothes, but yeah. it's almost quite difficult to get in there. Yeah. And You've got shelf on there. At the moment, I've got a couple of jumpers on there because I was yeah. too lazy to put them in the in the cupboard. And up above, Lynn's. Uh, that's your life a jacket. Life jackets. But yeah, the wardrobe space is okay. I just think the ones in an inside cabin are actually a little bit more accessible. Yeah, probably. And we've got the usual door hanging there, uh, so you can put your coat coat hook thing. Yep. Which traps your finger when you take your second coat off. And it doesn't like trap mine. Well, it does mine. And then over here bedside light which switches on down there no usb connections of course because it's an older ship but you do have your telephone beside the bed which i always find quite useful especially if you're using it for alarm calls and then on this side you've got a very wide sort of little bedside cupboard and it's sort of double width almost with two drawers in as well which is rather nice um turn around We've got a full length mirror there for Lindsay to make sure she looks beautiful before she goes out. And then we've got a large television. Yeah, it is large. Yeah. For Aurora. Yeah. Um, which is nice. Um, usual queen size bed. Um, and then your side of the bed. Yeah, the cup is my side of the bed, although they're quite all right for me at the moment because it's a short cruise but it's tiny they're half the size of yours a bit strange there you go would you like to demonstrate the couch Lindsay? the couch a couch oh, oh, yeah it's all right i mean you just play around with the cushions to make them comfortable but it's and it's, what else is it? it it's a isn't it a, a, a fold-out bed yeah it's a fold-out bed as well it There's would be no... a little bit of a cramped there's no bed. beds in the ceiling no so it would be a maximum of three here. Yeah, because you wouldn't but get I two think people this on that. This would be a bit of a lengthwise. Yeah, I think a if you trouble. stretch it out, I haven't seen one stretched out because we haven't had stretched out because there's only two of us in the room. But I think it would be quite tight because the cabin's actually not that roomy, is it? No, not really. No. Depends what you're comparing it to, I suppose. But yeah. it's not not mm -hmm. huge. Not roomy compared to other balcony cabins that we've had. You've got more storage over here. ice bucket there which are wonderful bar, um, cabin steward wonderful cabin steward Sunil is filling up regularly we've got two UK sockets there and that's a redundant um, aerial socket so they must put a TV in here at some point we got another UK socket here on this little desk area 
switch. And the switch for the lights. Light. Yeah, there. really nice lights, aren't they? Yeah. So do you want to demonstrate the secret, like little, little... Well, this is something, I wondered what they were, mm. and when I just pulled this little one, mm. and you found there's secret cupboards in here. This ship is used for a lot of long trips. Yeah. So you would end up having lots of things to put somewhere. You can and put so, your little knickknacks in there, can't yeah, you? Yeah, so that's absolutely ideal for that. And the other one, um, the other side is just a bit deeper, I think. I can't do it with my hand. There. It's a bit oh, deeper. It's a bit deeper, because mm. it's on an angle. Yeah. So that's really quite nice. Really handy, that. You've got more storage here. Yeah, here. Um, a little, little drawer there. Yeah. This one is where the um, hair dryer is. That's a new hair dryer, and that is really quite powerful. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's very good. Um, certainly no need to bring your own. Three drawers there. Yeah, three drawers there. Is there a drawer in the middle under there or not? Um, is that just decoration? No, that's, that's just decoration. And you've got a separate seat there yes. for you to use at the... Have you opened the uh, little cupboard no, there? No, the no, little no. magic cupboard there? The magic cupboard is this little one, which is the fridge which works very well. And it's a proper integral um, fridge because yes. it, it, the door opens when you open the out, outer door, which is Yes, nice. some of them are a bit confusing, aren't they, but that one works yeah. really well. Yeah. So are you going to take us now out onto the balcony and be careful not to freeze because it is January the 1st today and we're in the North Sea and the captain has just announced that we're missing a port tomorrow because there's a storm brewing. And it's a case of battening the hatches down tomorrow, yeah, isn't it? It is a bit. But this so is, this is our... quite a deep, not, not hugely deep, but no. a reasonably deep one. It's big um, enough. It's quite sheltered because it's, um, it's uh, got all that surrounding it. Yeah. Um, when it's blowing a hoolie at the moment, it is. It 35 knot winds. Yeah, you wouldn't know it here. No, with a coat on, you could sit out here if you wanted some fresh air. Yeah, you could. Um, but the rain is coming in on the handrail a bit. That's you only where it's being there. blown in. Yeah. Um, and you've got a glass bottom through there so you can see out through there. So it's a sort of sheltered cabin, but it's not a sheltered cabin, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. And then we come to the bathroom. This is a bit of an odd shape and it's um, quite small, really. Um, it's th This main part of it is quite square. You've got all the usual facilities. You've got the cupboards in there, shaver socket is there, which a lot of ships don't have, um, but you've got those cupboards both sides to store all your wash bags and everything, which is really nice. There's a bit of storage down, down there, and there's also bin areas and all the usual and bits and pieces and, and they've tissues. stopped giving you soap, hard soap, yeah. And now you've got hand wash, it's at the white company hand wash. Yeah. She's and there. we have got um, face gloss over there. We have, yeah. We asked for those and that was there within minutes of us asking. Yeah, but you do have to ask for face gloss you or do. if you want them. Yeah. Um, um, all the usual bits and pieces here. Real throwback to many, many years ago. Oh. There's an ashtray there. Ashtray. <laughs> I've only ever seen one of them in Queen Mary too. That's right. And so that's the main facilities here. So I'm actually stood in the bath filming this because we've actually got a bath. I'll just turn around. So we've got a, a shower there over the bath, which we did have problems with, but they've been resolved now. Yeah. And what have we got down there? Uh, so you've got the usual um, shower gel and the um, shampoo as well. Yeah. But um, you've also got spaces to put your own you have. here. Which is quite nice. This is quite nice because if you do have your own soap and bring it, you can actually saw it quite yeah. there, quite happily. You've got an up and down tap, so you can use bath or shower. Yeah. Or if you wish to, you can sit in the bath. And you've got handles, which it sounds like we might need later. Yeah, we might. <laughs> the captain. <laughs> and around here, you've got this. This, this is I really. I don't know cool. what that's for. Well, you could use it as storage, but you could also use it to hang bits on if you've done some hand washing. Oh, what, like socks and things? Well, yeah, because they, they would sit quite happily on but there. But you've, also, you've got also got your traditional washing line that which stretches is, right across. Yeah, it goes diagonally across, so it gives you a yeah. decent length in there. So, so if you've got swimsuits across. and things, you can um, use that. 
and this oh now Lindsay tell us this about is, the curtain this is another one they've obviously replaced these across the fleet now mm. um, and this is another non-stick shower curtain which you're quite fond of aren't you yes I, and it goes like oh that. thank you <laughs> <laughs> so that's it the um the balcony cabin tour on aurora if you have any questions what have people got to do Lindsay? well just contact us and ask us yeah, because either, we're quite happy to try and yeah. if we don't know the answer we'd find it out for you yeah either put them in the comments below on this video or if not go to our website kengoscruising.co.uk and use the contact us button well that would be a really good idea or if there's anything else you want to know about anything on this ship because we have been on her Ooh, quite a few times quite a few times now <laughs> yeah anyway Goodbye and thank you for watching.